Now we will do a new topic, another part of speech that is conjunctions. Now when you say conjunctions, it is a word that used to join either two words or two sentences together. That is conjunctions. Okay? You join two words or two sentences together. To join that, we insert the word and that is called conjunction. Now we have three different types of conjunction. We have something called coordinating conjunction. When you talk about coordinating conjunctions, we mean two sentences or clause of equal rank. We are talking about the something that flies or swims, something say you are supposing we say she is poor but happy. We are talking about same thing. Okay? Equal order, the two people or two things are flying or moving. That is called coordinating conjunction. Then we have something else subordinating. We talk about two different things, unequal rank. Supposing we say you will pass if you work hard or you will after the shower, the sun shone, the sun and the rain two different things. So, when you talk about two different things, then we say subordinating. When you talk about same equal rank, we say coordinating. And the third we have is correlation of conjunction or correlatives. That means, we have two conjunctions together like either, neither go, neither nor, either or, not only but also though he is poor, though he is poor, yet he man. So, when you are using two conjunctions together, we say it is correlative. So, one is when we use conjunctions, same equal order, then we say that is coordinating. When we say to talk about two different things, we talk about the sunshine and the rain, two different things, then we say it is subordinating conjunction, when we use two conjunctions together, neither, nor, either, or, then we will say correlatives. So, we are going to do three different types of conjunctions now. The conjunctions. We are doing conjunctions. Okay? A conjunction is a word which is used to join words or sentences together. A conjunction A conjunction is a word, is a word used to join, used to join, used to join words or sentences. words or sentences together. Okay. I will give you few examples for us to look at. Examples. Now, what are the examples I have here for you? First, Tom Tom and Jerry, Tom and Tom and Jerry are friends. Are friends. So we have used conjunctions and here. 
And the next sentence we have, he must study, he must study, he must study or, the conjunction used here is or, he must study or he will fail, he will, he will fail. The next sentence here we have is, wait till I return, wait, wait here, you wait here, till, the conjunction here is, till I return, till I return, I return. Wait here till I return. Now, the words and, or, till, all these are joining Jerry and Tom and Jerry, two words we have joined here. I must study. Huh? He must study, he will fail. Two short sentences. He must study, he will fail. So, we use or to join the two sentences. Wait here, I return and we joined it with till I return. He must study, he will fail. We joined it, he must study or he will fail. Now, conjunction is a word used to join words or sentences, two short sentences here together. We will do an exercise to understand better. Okay. Now, I told you, when you talk about conjunction, there are three different types. So, we next we will do kinds of conjunctions. Coordinating conjunction, subordinating conjunction and we also have correlative conjunctions. So, we have kinds of sentence conjunctions. So, the next thing we are going to do is, is the first one, what is a conjunction and the next we are going to do kinds of conjunctions. Kinds of conjunctions. And in the kinds we have, the first one we have is coordinating. Coordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunction. Now, what is this coordinating conjunctions? Coordinating conjunction joins together two sentences or clause of equal rank or order. So, what is a coordinating conjunction? A coordinating conjunction a, a coordinating a coordinating conjunction A coordinating conjunction joins together, joins together, joins together two sentences, two, two sentences or clauses. of equal rank of equal rank equal rank or order so we are going to do coordinating conjunction it joins two sentences or clauses of 
equal rank or order. Example, I'll give you a couple of example and then we go to the next one. Okay. Example of coordinating conjunction. Now, birds fly and fishes swim. Birds. Equal rank we said birds fly, birds fly, fishes swim, fishes swim. Next one, she is poor, she is poor. But happy. Now let's look at the examples here. Okay, here you have birds fly and what did we say in the coordinating conjunction? Joins together two sentences. Birds fly, fishes swim. We joined it, the two sentences. Now it joined two sentences of equal rank or order. She is poor, but happy, but. So, the examples of coordinating conjunction. When you say, what is a coordinating conjunction? It joins two sentences or of equal rank and order. She, she is poor, but she is happy. She, we are talking about her. Birds fly and fishes swim. So, this is the first kind of conjunctions. Next we have is subordinating conjunction. We also have correlative conjunctions. The first kind of conjunction is coordinating conjunction. Joining together two sentences or clause of equal rank or order. Okay? So, examples for it. Few more examples. Few more examples for coordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions. Eat soon. Eat soon. Eat soon or you will miss or you will miss the class. They were tired, they were tired, they were tired, yet they continued walking, working. They continued working. I have not, I have not completed, I have not completed my work. As I was, I was not well. Now, 
coordinating conjunctions each soon, each soon or it joins two sentences or clauses of equal rank. Now, each soon or you will miss the class. They were tired. They were tired yet. They were tired yet. They continued working. I have not completed my work as. So, these are all coordinating conjunctions or yet as. Okay? Now, the chief coordinating conjunctions are or, yet, as. You also have some more, either, nor, also, for, but. We will do some more. One word I will write so that you will understand this better. Birds fly. You have done already, but I will write it again. Birds. Birds fly. Fishes swim. Fishes swim. And we have the coordinating conjunction. What is that? Birds fly and these are the main ones and or yet as. Now the second is subordinating conjunction. What the second one? The second conjunction order kind of conjunction is subordinating conjunctions. Subordinating conjunctions. Subordinating conjunction. Now, what is subordinating conjunction? We said the coordinating joins two sentences or clause of the same equal rank or order. But in the case of the subordinating conjunction, it joins two sentences or clause of unequal rank or order. There it is equal, here it is unequal. So, here you say a subordinating conjunction a a subordinating conjunction a subordinating conjunction joins together joins together joins together two sentences or clauses two sentences or clauses of equal of unequal for equal is coordinating here it is unequal unequal rank or order rank or order. So, the examples for these subordinating conjunctions are, let us look at the examples. Examples of subordinating conjunction are, first I have here is, after the shower, was over, the sun shone out brightly after. So, you have the subordinating conjunction starting after. After the shower, shower the rain, after the shower was over, was over. The sun shone, the sun shone out again, 
out again. So, we are talking about the sun, we are talking about the rain. So, we have the subordinating conjunction here after. It joins two sentences of cause of unequal rank. We are talking about the rain and the sun. And the next, next example we have, you will pass. You will pass. You will pass. You will pass. You work hard. You work hard. Now, you are talking about passing and you are talking about working. So, you will pass if you unequal. Two sentences of unequal. You are talking about passing, you are talking about working hard. So, you will pass if you work hard. Okay, the next example is, he is upset. He is upset. He is upset. He is upset that, that, he is upset. The coordinating conjunction is, the subordinating conjunction is that. He is upset that he has failed. He has failed. You are talking about upset, you are talking about he has gone and failed. So, the subordinated conjunction is that. Okay. Then I have here, do not go out until it stops raining. Now, we will do some, two more examples for you to understand what is a subordinating conjunction. Now, the, con, the conjunction has two different kinds. The first kind is the coordinating conjunction where you join two sentences together of equal rank or order. Eat soon or you will miss the class. They were tired. Yet, they continued working. I have not completed my, my work as I was not well. Birds fly and fishes swim. So, joining together two sentences or clause of equal order. Now, in the second kind we have subordinating conjunction where it joined two sentences or clause of unequal order. You are talking about the shower, you are talking about the Sun, you are talking about passing, you are talking about working hard, you talk about one person being upset, also failed. Now, after the shower was over, the sun sh shone out again. You will pass if you work hard. He is upset that he has failed. Okay? So, subordinating conjunction joins together two sentences or clause of unequal rank or order. We will do few more examples for the subordinating conjunctions. We will do some examples. Three are done for you. And the fourth one is subordinating conjunction. Do not go out. Do not go out. Go, do not go out until, until is the subordinating conjunction, until, do not go out until it stops raining, it stops raining, 
raining. The next one. He ran away. He ran away. He ran away because. He ran away because. He ran away because he was afraid. He was afraid. We said that they join two sentences of two unequal rank. Don't go out. Going out, we talk about going out and raining. Two different, two unequal rank. Two sentences of two different kind. Going out and stop raining. Yeah, he runs, he ran away. He is afraid. So, subordinating conjunction joins together sentence of, of two different rank, two different things you are talking about. Now, the next sentence here I have is, I like him because he is honest. I like him. I like him. We are talking about the likeness. You like him because he is honest. He is honest talking about the honesty, you are talking about liking the person. And how do you join? I like him because, because he is honest. So, we are doing subordinating conjunction. And then one more example for you. I know, I know, I know where you were born. You were born. I knowing something and knowing where the person was born. I know where. So, this is subordinating conjunction. And as I told you, the third order, third order, that is the second one. And the third one we have here is, what is it called? Correlative. Okay, huh? correlative or correlative conjunctions. The third type is correlative. Correlative conjunctions. Or we can also call it correlatives. Okay. The third one is correlative conjunctions or correlatives, we call it. Now, let us look, look at what is the meaning of correlative conjunction. Correlative conjunctions, conjunctions used in pairs are called correlatives or correlative conjunctions. Conjunctions used in pairs. Conjunctions used in pairs. Conjunctions used in pairs are called Correlative conjunctions. Correlative conjunctions. Conjunctions used in pair, that means two together. Let us look at the examples of correlative conjunctions. 
Examples of those are Let us look at the examples of correlative conjunctions to understand better. Now, look at this. Either come here or go there. Either or. So, either. Either come here or go there. Either come here, come here or, or go there. So, you are using two either or, or go there. Next example of correlatives. Conjunction is, he is neither, he neither wrote nor read the chapter. He neither, he neither wrote, he neither wrote nor nor neither nor two together nor read chapter read the chapter next one more exercise one more you have he was both rich and honest he was he was both. He was both rich and honest. Rich and honest. He was both rich and and honest. So, both and. Then, the next one more exercise. I do not care whether you stay or go. I do not. I do not care. I do not care. I do not care whether whether you stay or go. Whether you stay, you stay or go, or go. One more. We had hardly, we had we had hardly we had hardly started we had hardly started when it hardly started when it began to rain it began To rain. We are talking about correlative conjunctions where or correlatives where pairs, two conjunctions are used together. Say either or, neither nor, both and whether or hardly when 
two conjunctions when you use it together we say it is correlative or we say correlative conjunctions either come here or go there he neither wrote nor read the chapter he was both rich and honest i do not care whether you stay or go so whether or go we had hardly started when it began to rain so we have done three types of conjunctions we have done subordinating conjunctions where two things two unequal things when we compare here we are using two conjunctions together and then we in the beginning we did what's called coordinating conjunctions where two sentences of equal rank were joined here in subordinate two sentences or clause of unequal rank and in the correlatives we use pairs of conjunctions we use two together then we say it's a correlative conjunction so there are three different kinds of conjunctions we will do an exercise to understand the three different types of conjunctions that we have learned now